For the indigenous Korean people, trees are not just for housing, and animals are not just for food. Humans are one of many interdependent parts of the natural world. Take for example the traditional parable of the secret forest groves and gibbons. When a baby is born, the parents will place the baby umbilical cord in a bamboo container and tie it on the tree, binding the baby's well-being to the tree's welfare for life. Hurting this tree or forest will hurt the baby. Similarly, because of the bond between humans and gibbons, the Korean believe that killing gibbons will cause women to have difficulties during childbirth. The Korean people's respect for the natural world has sustained their forests for generations, conserving important biodiversity up to today. In the same way, while most people see flowers merely as decorations, the Korean people have a unique connection with flowers. Their way of life, belief, and culture are closely connected to many flowers in their community. Conserving the flower is a way for the indigenous Korean people to sustain their culture identity. <laughs> In 2012, in northern Mudra district, Korean state, the growing illegal orchid trade and annual forest fires started by the Burma army threatened the future of rare orchids. Several local Korean women have joined hands to document and raise awareness for the conservation of the local orchid species. This grassroots citizen science research took place in two community forests in the proposed Selwi Peace Park territory in Mudra District, Korean State. ตัวดีล่ะพอละกบลีอ๋อเดี๋ยวนะกวนนะกวนเข้าอ๋อไม่ดีนี่พอแอปพลีเอ่อพอตมวยเนี่ยโอ้ปึกลีเลยอ๋
After five years of research on the International Day of War Indigenous Peoples, the women's research team unveiled the results of their research in the Studying Orchids and Reaching Lives report. เอาละปาติโพเดพาวอเวลเลฟดาคุติญาดอดกะตอปุเนปมานิเวดาพอนิตกิยาคิซิรกลูดอเลชาดาตาพอนาดอดกลีเนมิเวดาพอดกลูล
ดิโดพอมือกาพอบุคลีพอเตรพันเนี่ยเวพอตะปวาจิโตเวเลเกเวบุคลาคุคลาเตรพันเนี่ยกูกูขะเลเอ่อเกเวบุคลาคุคลา